Hello friends, welcome to Hub Info channel. From this video, we are going to talking about the more than 100 questions and answer about the safety interview. What is the safety? Safety is a freedom from an acceptable risk of harm. Scaffolding safety and types of scaffolding. The scaffolding is a temporary structure to support the original structure as well as workmen use it as a platform to carry on the construction's work. There are various types of scaffolding at the construction's work site. Number one is independent scaffolding, single scaffolding, double scaffolding, and needle scaffolding. What are the responsibility of HSE officer? The HSE officer acts an advisory capacity to the management and supervisions with regards health and safety environment. Monitor and ensure that the activities are being performed with the acceptable safety norm. Helping supervisors to identify the hazardous and unsafe conditions and ensuring the reactivation. Conducting toll box meeting, supervisor safety safety meeting, conducting training in a various topic, conducting safety incentives programs, conducting safety auditing and inspections, conducting risk assessment and GSA, pre-task meeting and all other projects related to safety requirement is to investigate hazards and dangerous occurrences, examine the cause of accident, carry out safety inspections on site, and what remedial steps or actions has been undertaken. At what height full body harness must be utilized? The answer is at the height of 1.8 meter, full body harness must be used to protect the fall hazard. What are unsafe act or unsafe condition? Unsafe act working without safety precautions or the act which can create the accidents. For example, working at height without any fall protection. Unsafe conditions, the place where hazardous is heating. For example, working inside the deep trench without sloping. What are the type of work permit normally used in oil and gas industry? There are five types of work permits. Hot work permit, the color is red. Cold work permit is green. Radiographic permit is yellow. Vehicle or mobile plant entry work permit, confined space entry permit. What is the cold work or hot work permit and radiography work permit? The cold work permit, any work that does not involve a source of ignition or naked flame or does not have spark generating potential is classified as a cold work permit. Hot work permit, any work which involves the use of naked or a source of ignition or spark generating potential is classified as a hot work permit. Radiography work, any work that involve the use of radioactive source shall be covered by a radiography work. What is the fire triangle? The fire triangle is a diagram that represents the three components that create a fire, such as oxygen, air, fuel, and heat, source of ignition. Absence of any of the components, the fire will not occur. What is the PPE? Personal protective equipment PPE is equipment used to protect the persons from hazards such as dust, dirt, fonts, and spark. It's the barrier between the hazard and the person. What is the confined space? An enclosure having a limit mean of enter and exit and it's not designed for continuous occupancy. For example, process vessel, tanks, beans, stack, large pipe, dock, pits, and trench, and excavations with the deeps more than 1.2 meter. What are the confined space hazards? A confined space may have one or combinations of the following hazards. Oxygen deficiency, presence of flammables, combustibles, or pyrophobic materials, HC and sludge. Presence of toxic gas, corrosive, or hazardous material, like H2S, CO, and NH3. Poor eliminations, ventilations, and communications. High temperature and humidity. Limited entry and exit. Restricted access. Restricted 
movement inside, falling or tripping hazards, presence of reactive or self-igniting material, hazards due to electricity or moving machinery, hazards due to pressurized fluid, hazards due to nature of work carried out inside confined space. What are the important precautions for a confined space? Number one, permit must be procured for operations, making sure of the following complete isolation of the space to be entered, draining, depressurizing, and purging or cleaning should be performed. Gas tests should be conducted to ensure no hazardous atmosphere in the present space ventilations. Number two is a pre task meeting must be conducted with all authorized entrants prior to entering confined space. The attended standby man shall be assigned at the entrance to maintain communication with the employees working inside to ensure their safety. Safety attendant must be trained and authorized to use gas testing equipment. Entrants must wear body harness. Depending on the situation's emergency rescue team may be put on standby. What is the H2S and its characteristic explain? H2S is produced or generated by decomposition of organic material. It's a highly toxic gas and highly flammable. It smells like rotten eggs at low concentrations and not detectable by order at high concentrations. It's highly flammable, flammable at 4.3% to 45.5% by volume in air. It's colorless and it's heavier than air, 1.19. It's highly soluble in water and other liquid. When burn it or flare it, it forms sulfur dioxide, SO2, which is also colorless and highly toxic gas. The exposure limit, 10 ppm, is the maximum allowed for 8 hours. What are the LEL, LFL, and UEL and UFL? Lower explosive limit or lower flammable limit, minimum concentrations of vapor or gas in air which will burn when a source of ignition is introduced. Upper explosive limit, UEL or upper flammable limit, maximum vapor or gas to air concentrations above which flammable propagations will not occur. The mixture is too rich to burn. Note, flammable gas detector meters measures percentage of LEL. Explosive range lower and upper for different gas. Flammable gas, hydrogen sulfate H2S, 4.5 LEL, 45.5 UEL. Sulfur dioxide SO2, ammonia NH3, 15% LEL and 28% UEL. Chlorine Cl2, carbon monoxide Cu, acetylene C2H2, 2.5% LEL and 80%. UEL, methane CH4, natural gas, 5% LEL and 15% UEL, petrol or gasoline, 1.4% LEL and 7.6% UEL. What is the word method statement? A document showing the various methods through which a particular work is accomplished. It also provides sections for the safety measure for this activity. What is the GSA and its uses? Job safety analyzes GSA is a part of many existing accident prevention programs. In general, GSA breaks job into basic steps and identifies the hazards associated with each step. It also prescribes control for each hazard. What is a work permit? A written document authorizes a person or a group to performing maintenance, inspection, testing, or construction work. What is a lifting plan? It's a document describing the plan for a safe lifting. It shows the detail of the crane to be used, lifting tackles to be used, detail of the load, detail of crane setup, lifting steps. What are the prominent HTS hazards? Eyes and respiratory irritations, dizziness, headache, nausea, abdominal pain, loss of consciousness, brain damage, possible death or fatal. 
define TLV, TWA, STEL, and IDLH. Time weight average TWA concentrate of the contaminant in air over the normal work shift of 8 hours to which worker can be exposed without respiratory protection in a 40 hour work week. Short term exposure limit STEL when exposed only for a short period of 50 minutes, this maximum concentrations can be allowed to breathe four times during eight hours with a minimum one hour interval between the exposure. Minimum concentration of contaminants in air which is immediately dangerous to life and health. Not air supplied respirator are required in IDLH atmosphere.